25 years ago, Panorama landed the scoop of the century. Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. But there have always been questions about how the relatively unknown reporter, Martin Bashir, persuaded Diana to do it. The BBC has now launched an inquiry into allegations over information about surveillance of the princess, which was given to her before the interview. Martin Bashir still works for the BBC and is currently on sick leave. In a statement, Diana's son, Prince William, says, the independent investigation is a step in the right direction. It should help establish the truth behind the actions that led to the Panorama interview and subsequent decisions taken by those in the BBC at the time. One man caught up in the false allegations was Diana's bodyguard, Ken Wharf, who eventually resigned because the princess stopped trusting him. He believes the claims about disloyal staff fueled her growing paranoia. For me personally, to, uh, to, to even understand or believe that I may have been involved with, you know, the secret services to spy on, on a person that I worked for for many years, um, is very distressing. And I mean, it's, it's, on the other hand, it's almost laughable to imagine that, uh, you know, the stuff that one sees or reads in, you know, a spy novel. So I, you know, I found it very upsetting. Diana's decision to do Panorama led directly to her divorce from Charles. Now their son, along with many other people, wants to know what made her do it and what the BBC really knew about that. Simon Viger, Five News.